In the last tutorial, we have learned that when you try to install some software packages, you will go to the available repository, find the right package, and install it to your system. I would like to show you where the repository files are located. So they are located in etc yum.repos.d directory under this directory. As you see that all the files are located here. So let me just open one of them. Let's open CentOS repo. And for that we need to use Vim text editor. So basically this is how Yum repositories are configured. For example, this is the repo ID, this is the repo name, this is the metalink or base URL that provides the location to the repository where all the software packages are located. And then we have GPG key file, the pass of the file, and etc. Actually, you don't need to understand all of them right now because I will show you how to create a local repository step by step. So let's just get started. Okay. So let me clear the screen. So to create a local repository in CentOS 9, you need to install the required packages. I'm gonna install create repo. It is used to create a local repository. I think I made a typo here. So create repo. And then we are gonna install yum utils. It contains utilities that can be used to manage repositories. And let's just provide Y option and then press enter. Sorry, we need to be a root user. So I'm going to use sudo i. And then let's copy this one, paste it here and run it. It's complete. As a next step, we need to create a directory where we'll store the packages for the local repository. You can create this directory anywhere on your system, but for this tutorial, uh, we're gonna create it in the www.html directory, I mean under var directory. So I'm gonna use make directory and then provide the p option because we're gonna have lots of folders. And then under var, we are gonna have www, then html, and under this directory, let's create a local repo. Press enter. So after that, after creating the directory, we're gonna need to copy the packages that we want to include in the local repository to the local repo directory, to this directory. So we can copy the packages from another system or we can just download them from the internet. For example, let's say you want to create a local repository for the Nginx web server. We can download the packages for Nginx. So we're gonna use you download and let's provide the destination directory. So destination directory will be var, sorry, var www html and under that we have a local repo. And then just provide the package name so it is nginx. Since it is installed, let's do lsl var www html local repo. All right, Nginx RPM package is here. Once we have copied, we have downloaded the packages to the repository directory. We need to create the repository metadata using the creator repo command. I hope you already remember metadata because we already talked about it in the first tutorial of this section. So I'm gonna use that command. We're gonna use create repo and under our local repository. So if we run this command, it will create metadata for the repository. Let's press enter. It just created. Let's see what we have there. LSL w sorry var www.html. Under that we have local repo, and we have here repo data. It just created the necessary metadata for the repository and stored it in the repo data directory. Let me clear the screen. So the next step is to configure you to use the local repository. We're gonna configure the you package manager to use the local repository. So in order to do this, we're gonna create new repository file. 
So let's use touch under ATC. We have room refers D directory. And under this directory, I'm going to create a new file. Let's call it local repo, for example, that repo file. And let's open it. So I'm going to use Vim text editor to open the file. We need to create a file that is similar to CentOS repo. Let me show you one more time. If you remember, we have CentOS repo file here. So this is how we should configure our Vim repository file. We're going to create something similar. So let's look at that. So we're going to start from the repo ID. Let's call it for local repo. And then we need to provide our repository name. So it will be local repository. But you can call it whatever you want. It doesn't matter actually. And then we need to provide meta link or let's call it base URL because in some system we are gonna see this base URL, not meta link. And base URL in this case will be file. But I'm gonna show you one more thing. So under this CentOS repo, as you see that it is a meta link. So this URL starts with HTTPS because this is a remote repository and all the software packages are located in this remote repository. That's why it starts with HTTPS. But we're going to create a local repository. So therefore, we're going to use file system URL. I'm going to use file, file, two dot, then two slash. And then we need to provide the path where the, our local repository is located. Basically, it's under root. We have var directory, then we have www, and then we have HTML, and under that we have local repo. The third component will be enabled equal to one. So this means that the repository is enabled or active for use by you. When you set it to one, you will use the repository to search for and install the packages. If you set it to zero, then the repository is disabled and you will not use it to search for or install the packages. And the last one we are going to use gb gpj equals to zero because we don't have any. I'm sorry, it should be gpg check equals to zero. If we set it to one, we also need to provide the key file. But in our case, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to set it to zero. And let's save this file. As a last step, we need to verify if the local repository is working or not. So for that, I'm going to use Vroom repo list. If it's enabled to active, it will be shown here. OK, as I see that our local repository is here. So that's it. You have successfully created a local repository in CentOS 9. You can now use this repository to install packages on any system in your network. Let's do that in the next video.